Hey everyone, this is Riley Sky 100 or Gabriel, whatever. And today I got another unboxing for you. And this is only one box. Yeah, one box. But I'll have something to show you about it. And this is something uh, pretty special. So if you know what it is, then you've already seen the title of the video. So yeah. This package actually came from someone that I ordered it on eBay from. The per a person that actually came from the same that's from the same state as I am, Massachusetts. And so what do we have here? Oh, a dog bone controller. You know what that means? Okay, more uh, more bubble wrap I can use for other packages for me to ship out. Now this is something I have never had in my life. Though many uh, retro fans kill for it. Come on. Oh wow. This is much smaller than I anticipated this to be. So, yeah, if you hear a little banging, that's just like uh, my next door neighbors. Uh, this is college, so yeah. So, in case you don't know what this little contraption is, this is an NES sec the second NES console, or best known as a uh, top loader because you know, uh, it's like a freaking top loader. It's like similar to the Famicom, but the first version was just the box. It was just like a box that had like all like sorts of like problems with like connecting the games and such. Well this one, if I can get a game to show for example, like Batman here, it would connect like this, like so. See? Simple as that. So it doesn't have that eject button that the Super NES has, which I recently uh, cleaned up that I bought from someone that is like uh, st sitting over there. But anyways, this is like interesting because these would usually go for like over a hundred dollars or so, but I didn't pay you anywhere near that. So this is actually a pretty awesome, uh, pretty cool console. And of course, there's some dust and dirt on it and marks. And I'm gonna take this apart, clean it up, and give it a shine and all that and make and probably resell it because or maybe if if I like have the much more time I would actually uh, go to someone to actually have this uh, modded to have a uh, to have, <clears throat> sorry to have composite but I don't know that's gonna cost me like sixty dollars for it to be modded but it'll well, many people will kill for it just to get much better quality out of this or how or like get rid of the RF and uh, have like the connector be the same as uh, AV for uh, the Super NES and N64 and GameCube so forth so it could be uh, comp compatible with the uh, RGB SCART and also you'd be able to like uh, capture like games on it because I have no idea if you can capture like uh, games on a Dazzle with something like this or something like this, which I recently came up, which I recently got. This is an Elgato game capture device, and this one, in particular, will capture like HD quality in 60 frames per second with all the new H, with all the new 60 FPS. And uh, the original one could not capture capture 60 frames per second. This one can. Now, I will be making much more game reviews off of this and when I get the necessary cables I need because for some reason Elgato didn't include the cables for this device that they included with the original game captures and as soon as I'll be able to get those I'll be able to record some gameplays and reviews because I like to be more authentic than just using a cheap emulator or whatnot unless if it's a game that, I'll, that I know I'll never get in possession of in my life but yeah this is what I want to show you. This is the top loader, and I'm going to be taking pictures of it as I 
restore this restore this console though I bet it works but I have an adapter to test it out so anyways thank you guys for checking this out and hopefully I will be able to get a game review up soon because I've been delaying on that for quite some time now and I really apologize for that but I will do as much as I can and Unfortunately, I'm not going to be attending uh, PAX East 2015 this year, but next year I definitely will for anyone that's like uh, kind of curious. But I know my two brothers are already already at Boston right now. So, yeah, if you're so, yeah, I'll be at PAX East next year. And I don't know what I'll be doing there, but hopefully I'll have some sort of following. Okay, that's uh, nice. He says I like every fucking time. I didn't say shit. Yeah. Anyways, like, if you like what you uh, see in this video, please like, uh, leave a like or subscribe and all that. And uh, if you want, ever want to check out what I have listed on eBay and such for like restored uh, projects, just like click on the link below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.